So here we go, third and goal for Scal Hegan. They go to the short man, Vigu, is he in? He is! The arms are raised, and Scal Hegan has a 6 nothing lead. Well, he's in the backfield all by himself. Four wide receivers for Bonnie Eagle. They run Nason in motion. They fake the handoff to him. Again, it's Dolan picking his way. Great run here by the senior, getting dragged along by number 36, getting a little help there from Travis Dunn. And they do indeed pick up the first down. They're inside the 10. Cody Vigu on the tackle, finally able to bring him down. Now they go inside to Ruby. He's got a lane. Is he in the end zone? They stop him short. No, he's in. The far line judge says he's in, and we're tied at six, pending the extra point. Well, Dolar will look over the defense once again. Here's the snap. The handoff goes to Ruby. They work right side. Is he in? They have not blown the play dead yet. And yes, they give him the six. And welcome to Alphond Arena, everyone. Who's going to take a bite out of whom today as we pan down from the big black bear where the team runs out for the floor exercises? John, let's talk a little bit about the player of the game to watch on the main side. <laughs> nice rejection by Barker into the hands of Green. She pushes up to Underwood. Underwood, once again, floats into the middle. Barker, second straight three. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Same exact spot. 8 nothing Maine. They're on a roll. 16.41 to go here in the first half. Here's Tewksbury. Up top. Inside, Phil Murray. Turn and shoot. She has four straight to open the second half. Russo trying to weave her way in. Nice up fake. And the finish. Well, the scouting report on her coming into her freshman year was that she was able to shoot. Parker, knock it down. So Barker averaging 15 a game, starts with a three. 